Barakah Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Barakah Kadash, Barakah the Yahweh, Barakah the Yahweh Shah, 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 Barakah the Yahweh, Barakah
uh, what what the men of the Lord do, man. All right, we all about seeing judgment go forth, man. All right, regardless of how it had to happen, you know. This uh, let's get this word terror as well. So like you, thine heart shall meditate terror, terror. This, Ama. Strong's H three sixty seven. Ama, Ama. Says dread, horror, fright, <laughs> dread, horror, fear. You know. So yeah, uh, we meditate horror, man. Are right, we imagine horror? We plot horror, man. You know, uh, fear. What well, knowing that knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, which I'm gonna grab that script. We persuade men. All right, because we know the terror of the Lord. We know how terrible the heavenly Father is. That's why we in that mind state where, you know, we're we're ice cold because we know what Yahweh is gonna bring upon this earth, man. He's gonna bring mass mass judgment. All right, babies, you know, uh, children, you know, uh, old people, senior citizens, women. You know, anybody, you know, so-called innocent people, you know, which we know no one's, no one innocent under, under, under this, uh, on, on, on your house green earth. All right. We know ain't nobody innocent down here. All right. But we know that the Heavenly Father is going to do a, a mass slaughter out here, man. Mass slaughtering out here. Okay. And and we know that it's righteous too. All right. Because it tell you in Zephaniah the third chapter that, the just Lord is in the midst thereof; he will not do iniquity. So there's nothing wrong about, you know, these people. Well, this, this is actually righteousness, man. These people getting put to death, man. People, people getting judgment, cast forth over them, man. All right, because they, because they deserve it, man. You know, these wicked people of this world are, are disobedient towards you. How about you, shut, man? So they deserve destruction, and we want to see it, man. All right, anyone who transgresses against our power, including ourselves, okay. Uh, judgment is gonna have to come down on on, on them, you know, and and there's righteousness. We want to see righteousness go forth, man, you know. And we pray that the heavenly Father can keep us the, the spirit on us to continue to want to do His will and righteousness, and, and continue to you know about not be overtaken by our own emotions, man. All right. Scriptures say, uh, scriptures say, uh, the spirit of a man shall sustain his infirmity. All right. In, in this in uh, in this world. Uh, it's nothing but uh, infirmities all around. Well, just being in these chains of darkness is an infirmity. So you gotta have that. that you gotta be in your right spirit, man. You gotta be in your right spirit to overcome it, man. All right, cause it's it's a plague and a sickness to be here, man. And you, you in your right spirit, if you understand that, you know, judgment needs to go forth, and in this, in this righteousness with judgment going forth. You know. Let's read this one more time. This is Isaiah chapter thirty-three, verse eighteen. Thine heart shall meditate terror, whereas the scribe, whereas the receiver, whereas he that counted the towers. Yeah, so, you know, we're not worried about uh, what, you know, somebody else got to say, you know. Like, our our heart going to meditate terror, man. All right, if you can't grasp around it, then, you know, that's probably because you're going to be terrorized, man. You know, and you you one of the people that uh, we, we uh, meditate terror upon. You know, <laughs> this and, and they'll say, "Oh, this is evil. That's evil." You know, that's well. That's why I tell you in the scriptures, uh, "Woe to them who call evil good and good evil, man." You know, he he, he that uh, justifies uh, the wicked and condemneth the just, the both they both are abomination to the Lord, man. That power, you know, and and, and that's the truth, man. You know, because uh, this world will teach you that you know it's wrong to, you know. Uh, oh, you wishing death on somebody? You know, you 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 wishing uh, you you praying uh, praying for their downfall. You know, like Biggie said, man. All right, well, really, that's righteousness, man. These niggas need to be put down out here. If you if you ain't serving your how about she mouth shot, you need to be put to death. That's Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter, man. All right, it's Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter, man. It tell you that uh, the whole duty of man is to uh, fear your how about she mouth shot and keep his commandments. All right, if you're not doing that, you're not doing your duty. And you, shit, if you're not doing your duty, you need to be fired. Well, you, 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 when you get fired, you're going to get your ass taken out. You're going to get terminated. All right? This uh, Psalm chapter 139, verse 21. Do not hate them, O Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Yashah that hate thee? Yeah, so do not we hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? You know, hell yeah, we hate these people, man. All right? They hate you. How about Shem Yashah? All right? So why not? You know? And... 
and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? And all these people on the earth rise up against Yahweh by Shimei Why? Because they don't want to do his will, man. These people want to serve their own ability. They don't want to serve Yahweh by Shimei Alright, so are we not grieved with that? Do, do we not want a world wherein dwelleth righteousness? Like it speak about in 1 Peter the 3rd chapter? Hell yeah, man. So how, how, how is that going to have to happen? Well, you have to eliminate all the wickedness, which all these people in this current state of this world is wicked, man. All right, that's why we, you know, get, but that's why we get enthused when we see destruction come upon this place and upon these people. Verse 22, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Yeah, we count these people of this earth uh, enemies, man. All right, who, who are not servants to you. How about Shema Shah, man? All right, we, we count, uh, you know, these these kingdoms, these wicked kingdoms that's not set up on the basis and guidelines of Yahweh Shema Shah's laws, statutes, and commandments, enemies, and adversarial, man. All right. You know, let's get this word enemies. So it's, it's not nothing wrong with this. And that's, uh, Strong's Ayav. H 341. Ayav. Ayav. There you go. It's a personal or national. <laughs> so these nations, you know, including the people of these different nations and the, these kingdoms that are nations itself, you know, they're enemies, man. To Yahweh Hashim Why? Because they're completely adversarial to the ways of Yahweh Hashim Hashat. They're personal enemies, those who, of our people, you got our people who dwell in these different lands and these different kingdoms, you know, these different nations throughout the world who abide uh, in ways adversarial to Yahweh Hashim Hashat, man. All right, so these are enemies, man. You know, you go down to uh, Strong's definition. It says an adversary. Yeah, so these people are adversaries, man. And they tell you in First Samuel the second chapter that uh, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, man. You know, all the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, man. You know, and that's and that's righteousness, man. All right, that's righteousness. All right, because well, I tell you, uh, Exodus the fifteenth chapter, Yahweh. Is a man of war. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is his name. All right, so Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, he about war, man. All right, you you wage a war on Yahweh Bashim Al Shah when you don't want to abide in his ways, when you go against his ways. All right, so 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 what's got to happen for that? Destruction got to happen, and and that's a righteous thing, man. All right, because Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, he's the he's the king uh, king of the earth. All right, he's the judge of all judges, man. All right, he uh is the king of terrors, man. He's a great in terrible power, man. All right. And you got to respect it or check it, man. Let's read verse 23. It says, Search me, O power, Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Yeah, that's so we actually have Bashim Al Shah to, 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 to try our, our hearts and know our thoughts, man. All right. To, to, so so we know if we're right or not, man. All right. And we know we're justified in our thoughts and our heart. Why? Because we actually have Bashim Al Shah to try our minds, man. All right. Try, try, uh, try, try, uh, try, try our minds, man. I right, make sure we 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 in the right mind state. You know, we we not one of the ones that have to uh be brought forth uh to judgment, man. All right, because we know how the heavenly Father get down, man. All right, you know you because you could be being cold hearted out here. You know what I'm saying not not realizing that you know uh towards other people not realizing that you one of the people who yeah about see my gonna bring judgment upon, man. You know, so that's why we ask you, how about Shema Shah, to know our thoughts, you know, to know our mind. Keep us in that right, in, in, in that right spirit. You know, so judgment don't come forth on us because it, even if it did, that would be righteous. You know, that would be righteous. You know. Let's go here to Job 31, 23. So like it. This Job 31, verse 23. For destruction from Yahweh was a terror to me, and by reason of his highness I could not endure. endure. Yeah, this, yeah, the destruction of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is a terror unto us, man. That's, that's a fear. That's, that's dreadful. You know, that's a horror, man. You know, we went into that word terror, man. You know? And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, another name for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is... Uh, is um is the king of terrors, man. So like it, you know. So we know how y'all by Shema Shah get down, man. All right. That's why we are very fearful of of his terror, man. But these people on this earth, they're not fear. 
uh, fearful of Yahweh Hashem Yashah. That's why I tell you in Hosea, the fourth chapter, that Yahweh Hashem Yashah have a controversy, man. All right, because there's no fear, no knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yashah in the land, man. All right, you know, but we we know if you know, uh, you 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 can't endure through the terror of Yahweh Hashem Yashah. That's why, you know, anyone who doesn't want to accept that, you know, you deserve to be destroyed, man. All right, because you 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 don't have no. That you don't have no other choice anyway. You're going to be destroyed, man. All right? That's good for you, man. All right? The longer you stay around here, pro, you know, tempting your Yahweh Hashim Yashad, you know, playing with Yahweh Hashim Yashad, the worst things going to happen to you, man. You know, so it, it's better to just get your ass on out of here, man. You know? It's Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 17. It says, Be not a terror unto me, thou art my hope in the day of evil. Yeah, so Yahweh Hashim Yashad, uh, would be a terror to anybody out here, man. All right, and that's what we pray. How about you, Messiah? Please uh, keep our minds right, keep uh, our heart right, our thoughts right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and keep us on the uh, straight and narrow, man. So we don't get caught up in the, the evil that you're gonna bring upon the wicked, man. You know, cause cause he's our only hope, man. All right. And if you you don't if you feel like you have us, you is is wrong for uh you know anything that he does you know well you can't hope in him man you can't hope in him you know verse 18 says let them be confounded that persecute me but let not me be confounded let them let them be dismayed but let not me be dismayed bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction and that's what we pray man all right jeremiah uh pray uh to the heavenly father that you know uh his, his people be cursed, man. All right, because cause majority of these people, wicked as all hell, man. All right. They, they, here it is, they want us to, you know, be destroyed for serving you. How about Shem outside? But, you know, they feel like they, they, they could be justified because uh, they speak it out against the, uh, what in their mind is evil, man. You know? That's why you're going to be destroyed with a double destruction, man. We pray that. You people be destroyed with a double destruction. Why? Because y'all come against your Habba Shem outside and y'all come up against his uh his his man that he has set up for, you know, uh a place uh for you to come back and, and, and receive hope again, you know? So so it's extra death to you for that, man. You know? That's why we 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 pray we pray these people get put to death. Why? Cause they wicked as all hell, man. You know? They 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 don't uh they, these people don't want to, uh, don't want righteousness. They look at us as wicked, man. So destruction to these people, man. Just uh, Second Corinthians chapter five verse eleven. It says, "Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord." All right, we know the terror of the Lord. We know how Yahweh Shimei was shot. He, uh, you know, flooded the whole earth and only saved eight people, man. All right, we know how Yahweh Shimei was shot killed all the firstborns of Egypt, man. All right, we know how Yahweh Shem Yashah sent uh, the deaf angels through Assyria and, and, and slaughtered uh, over 70,000 men, I believe, or 100,000, you know? Uh, we, we know how uh, Yahweh Shem Yashah, you know, uh, sent uh, the prophet uh, Samuel, uh, I mean, so like you sent King Saul to, to slaughter uh, all the uh, Amal Amalekites, men, women, and children, man. All right? You know, we know how... Uh, the Heavenly Father, uh, you know, uh, we, we know how the Heavenly Father gets down, man. Or we know how he, he he burnt Sodom and Gomorrah up with fire and brimstone and only saved Lot and his two daughters, man. All right. We know, you know, we, we, we know what Yahweh Shem is going to bring upon Babylon the Great, which is America, man. We know what kind of destruction he's going to bring upon all these people out here, man. We know that the Heavenly Father is going to kill billions of people out here, man. You know, hundreds of millions, billions of people out here, man. All right. So we know the terror of the Lord. All right. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah, we persuade men. All right. And, you know, let's get this word persuade. If you don't want to take heed to the persuasion, you know, if you don't want to be persuaded, then guess what? Death to you, man. Let's get this word persuade. Strong's uh, G 3982. Pytho. 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 And persuade to induce one by words to believe. That's what we try to do. We try to induce these people by words to believe. But what? What? How do we do that? Letting you know. Look. Look at Yahweh Hashem Yashah track record. He ki he killed people. He has no problem putting niggas down if they don't want to follow his way. You know. It says, 
uh, to make friends of, to win one's favor, seek one's goodwill, or to seek to win one, strive to please one. And we only do that through the gospel of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. If, you, if you're not pleased in the, in the ways of, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shah's construct, and Yahweh Bashim al Shah not finna change his ways for you, you know, to appease you, you know. It says to tranquilize, to persuade, and to move or induce one to persuasion to do something. To be persuaded, to suffer oneself, to be persuaded, to be induced, to believe, to have faith in a thing. To believe, to be persuaded of a thing concerning a person. <laughs> to listen, to obey, yield, to comply with. And that's the whole point, man. All right, so you can comply with the ways you have by Shemal Shai so you don't get caught up in his terror, man. Because... If you don't comply to your Habashim Al Shai, guess what's going to happen to you? Terror is going to come upon you. And we want that terror to come upon you. Why? Because you don't want to comply to your Habashim Al Shai. You disobedient towards your Habashim Al Shai. You deserved it, man. You know? Uh, it says to trust, have confidence, be confident. You know? So, pretty much, uh, and you go into it, say to convince. You know? So, you're supposed to be convinced and, you know, ha have uh, confidence. And uh, by, by your Habashim al if you don't have confidence or you're not convinced by the ways of your Habashim al that this is the right way, that his way is right, you know, you, you're going to get terror brought onto you, you know. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, your Habashim al we persuade men. So that's why we persuade them, because we know, that's why we try to convince these people out here through, you know, look, look what's going on in the earth. Look, this nigga just got put down. Or your Habashim al he just brought a hurricane through, through Bahamas. You know, they still looking for people. You see that boat fire that just happened in California. Over 30 people got put to death. They still searching for people, uh, bodies. All right. You see that baby that just got put to death. That, that two-year-old that was that was found missing. You know, you know these, these are the things that we, we, we uh, put forth as examples to show you the terror of the Lord. Because how about Shemal Shai? He kills and makes alive, man. So that's supposed to be your, your convincing, man. All right. If you're not convinced by that, then... I mean, you do. You deserve to die, man. You deserve to 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 get death put to you, man. All right, and that's why we pray and hope for it. You know, that's why we uh, are happy when when it when it goes forth. All right, why? Because their judgment was well deserved. You know, Salakia. It says, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest into your consciousness. Yes, yeah, so you know this this it should be made apparent, man. I should be made apparent that you have Bashim al Shah not playing no games out here, man. All right, that 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 because that word manifest meaning to be made apparent, so it should be obvious that you have Bashim al Shah is not joking out here, man. You know. Let's go here. Matthew. It's Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, so it said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. All right. And, you know, our, our love for this world, this current state of this world, you know, and the, these people in this world, you know, it's wax cold, man. You go into that word cold, it means cold heart. That's why we cold hearted, man. Because there's nothing but iniquity around us, man. All right, nothing but grievances and, and, and iniquity around us like it speak about in Habakkuk the first chapter man all right so we're we're we're, we're so lucky, brothers so we agree with this man you know we agree with this we we we, we uh you know we we have become cold-hearted man all right you know why because it, it's nothing but iniquity around here man all right so we're so so we have a, a right in uh being uh cold-hearted man and our hearts wax and cold all right why because look at Look at the, the world and the current state that it's in. Look at these people out here. They're completely demonic, man. All right. So why would we have love for these people, man? All right. Like it said in Psalms, the 139th chapter, do not I hate thee, them that hate thee. These people hate you. How about shot? What the hell would we have love for them when they hate you? How about Shemal shot? I tell you about that in uh First Chronicles 19 chapter. What you going to, uh, so what you going to show love to those? Well, let's get it real quick. Let's get it. First Chronicle 19. Uh, Salakia. Is it uh, 
it first chronicles or second chronicles might be second chronicles 19 bear with me brothers yeah here go right here call love you how about my shot it's uh second chronicles uh chapter 19 verse uh two and jehu the son of hanana Hananiah the seer went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah? Therefore is wrath upon thee from the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Yeah, so wrath gonna come upon you from Yahweh Shemashah when you want to help the ungodly and, and, and love them that hate the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. These people in the world hate Yahweh, uh, hate Yahweh Shemashah. So we cold hearted towards these haters of Yahweh Shemashah. We ain't got no love for them, man. Our love is wax cold for these people who hate Yahweh Shemashah, man. All right. Why? Well, because if, if it wasn't, wrath would come upon us, man. All right. And wrath is going to come upon all those who hate Yahweh by Shemiah man. All right. It's point blank, period, man. Let's get this in 1 Peter 4, 4 and 18. This is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly in the sinner appear? Yes. Yeah, so the righteous, they're going to scarcely be saved, man. All right. Yeah, how about Shema Shah is not a respecter of persons when it comes to judgment, man. All right. So the let they man, they're gonna get uh saved by uh uh the skin of their teeth, man. All right, by by you know, hair follicles, man. You know, they're gonna scarcely be saved, man. All right. So if, if the righteous, you know, who are who are trying to serve the Lord and you know, uh love the Lord and, and follow his way, all right, to the best of their abilities, you know. These they they gonna barely be saved. Where, where, so where the ungodly and the sinner gonna appear, man? They gonna obviously get put to death out here, man. It's obvious, man. You know, so you know it's it's really no hope for someone who don't want to serve you. How about you outside? The only hope for them is is death, man. You know. Let's go here. Um, Second Peter three and seven. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. It says, But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Yeah, there you go, man. All right. All those who are ungodly, man. Was 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 was, was waiting on anyone who is ungodly. All right. Let's get this word ungodly. Let's get the word ungodly. Ungodly. That's a base. Strong G, that's a base. That's a base. That's a base. That's a base. Destitute or rever reverential all towards you. How when you go into that word reverence, it means pretty much fear, man. You know? So these people out here destitute of fear towards you. How about I see my shot, man? You know? They destitute of, of, of reverence and all towards you. How about I see my shot, man? You know? They they impious towards you. How about I see my shot? Irreverent, man. They don't reverence you. How about Shemal Shah? Wicked, you know. So these people out here who don't reverence you. How about Shemal Shah? Or destitute of reverence towards you. How about Shemal Shah? Impious towards you. How about Shemal Shah? Or ungodly, man. All right. And how how you impious and 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 not showing reverence towards you. How about Shemal Shah? By not regarding him as you know. uh the, the great terrible uh, power he is as his great majesty man all right you being completely uh you know uh irreverent irreverent toward you how about was shot man that makes you ungodly man all right you don't want to serve you how about was shot you don't you don't want to you know be in the uh same mind as you how about shot you're you're ungodly man you know so what's gonna happen to you for that this uh second peter chapter three verse seven but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men you know what i'm saying so the the this, this day right here uh so like these these ungodly uh people on this earth right now currently they yahabba shima shah is keeping them in store and reserved for judgment and perdition man which means destruction man all right, so you got these ungodly people on the earth who don't want to serve you. How about Shemiah Shah? They 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 been put on ice by you. How about Shemiah Shah to be destroyed anyway, man? All right. So and all the ways of you. How about Shemiah Shah? Righteous, man, and perfect, man. All right, he don't he don't make no mistakes out here, man. All right. 
everything about the way Yahabashi Mouchai is right. So when these people get put to death, all right, when death comes upon these people, you know, we, we praise Yahabashi Mouchai. We're happy about it. And we want to see more of it go forth. Because why? Because perdition, perdition and uh, fire is reserved uh, unto ungodly men, man. All right, you want to be ungodly? Guess what? Judgment is going to come upon your ass, man. All right? Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for that, you know? <coughs> Salakia. Let's go to this word, uh, go to uh, the book of Sirach, one of my favorite verses. Pretty sure brothers uh very familiar with this. This uh Sirach chapter 30, verse 17. It says, Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. You know, so death is better than a bitter, a bitter evil life, man. Alright. You 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 live in evil if you ungodly, man. Alright. You know, and these, like, we know the vast majority of these people on this earth are, are ungodly, man, and evil, man, you know. So, death is better than them living that evil life, man. Or it's better for them to get put, it's, it's, it's better for a majority of these people just to get put to death, man, than continue to live on in the way that they living, man. All right, because this place is completely sick, man. All right, nothing but sickness, man, illness, man, you know, infirmary, you know. It says death is better than a bitter life or a continual sickness. Yeah, so that's why, you know, it's, it's really righteous for us to want these people to get put to death, all right? Why? Because it, 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 it's, it's better than a, a life full of continual sickness, man, you know? Let's get this in First Peter, the second chapter. Pulling this out of light lately. This, uh... Salakia, 2nd Peter, the 2nd chapter. My fault, brothers. 2nd Peter. Uh, 2 and... I started 4. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, <laughs> upon the world of the ungodly. All right, which we went, we went into, uh, you know, I, I quoted that earlier about how Yahweh Hashim shot flooded the whole earth and only saved eight people. You know, that's, a, that's, that's an example of the Heavenly Father's terror, you know. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with the overthrow, making them an example unto the, those after that should li live ungodly. So here it is. Sodom and Gomorrah was turned into ashes. All right. For as an example to those who want to live ungodly, man. Which, you know, these people still live ungodly. All right. So that's, that's complete. And we know ungodly is being completely uh, uh, irreverent to, you know, Yahabashim al Not showing no reverence towards Yahabashim al man. You know, that's. And, and these people don't show no reverence towards you. How about you, man? Shout out here, man. You know? But what what happens when you don't show reverence to you? How about you, man? Shout Destruction comes upon you. You all right? So you should, you already got an example. You should, you should already know what it is, man. All right? You should already know what it is about trying you. How about you, man? Shout You want to try you? How about you, man? Shout You deserve to get your ass put to death, man. All right? Ain't, ain't nobody wrong for thinking that. You, you should, you should be thinking that your own damn self. You know, uh, and deliver just like Vix with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yeah, the lifestyle, all right, the 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 the, the way these people live. That's what conversation means, all right. You get Vix with that, all right. It says, for their righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing Vix his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So that's that's right, man. That's, that's righteousness. That's what it just told you. That he was a righteous man because seeing and hearing. Uh, their their conversation, their lifestyles, it vexed his his soul, man, from day to day, man. All right, that's why we, and that's us, you know, uh, Lord willing, you know, we are those men. We're allegories for just like, you know, because we feel the same way. We feel like, you know, these people are completely wicked out here, man, and judgment needs to be brought forth on them. You know, we 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 desire judgment to be brought forth on them. You know, so that that makes you righteous, man. All right, that's not wicked, you know. It says, verse 9, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Yeah, and Yahweh Shemashah, he knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, man. All right. 
Yeah, how about Shima Shine deli delivering uh, no ungodly out of no temptation? She got uh, destruction uh, reserved for you, you know, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. And you unjust if you okay with being disobedient toward you. How about Shima Shai? You know, it says, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Yeah, what government? The government of Yah Bashim Yah Shah. They look at this insignificant. It says, presumptuous are they self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. And that's these people in this world, man. All right. They speak evil about uh, 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 of, of the dignities being a man of the Lord who speak out against these evil ass people who being disobedient towards Yah Bashim Yah Shah. They say that it's wrong for a man of the Lord to, to, to uh, say, a death to someone or or you know put a curse on someone or you know hope for judgment on america and these people in america who, who are being completely ungodly and wicked man you know it says whereas angels which are greater in power and in might bring not real accusations against them before the lord yeah so even the angels the holy angels they ain't like oh look at them they out there wishing death on people but you know they 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 they, they better than nobody they need death you know the angels don't even do no shit like that, but here it is. You got you, you these these mortal people down here who are being completely wicked and, and ir ir irreverential, irreverential towards your how about you outside and want to talk, uh, speak evil of dignities, man. You know, that's that's that, you you deserve death for that, man. Uh, that's being proud, man. You know, it says, but these as natural brute beasts, yeah, these people are natural brute beasts, man. All right. You know, a, a beast, man, a beast, it, it, it just, uh, it don't even go up for judgment. It just, it don't go back, the spirit of, don't even go back up to the heavenly father for judgment, man. It just go back right back to the ground, to the dirt, all right? Just to, you know, to, to, to you know, uh, live and die, you know? And that's these natural brute beasts, you know, who are ungodly, man. They just was made to live and die. Like I tell you, uh, Second Ezra is the ninth chapter, man. Uh, let the uh, multitude perish that was uh born in vain man all right it says but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed made to be taken and destroyed so these people were made to be taken and destroyed man all right let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven man all right the will of the heavenly father is it has to be done man all right that's what we pray that's the lord's prayer man you know it says, speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption, man. All right. So you you did that, man. All right. You gonna pay, you gonna die in your own corruption. You you was the one being ungodly. Ain't nobody ain't nobody um uh, you know, oh they 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 spoke my death up, they prayed for my downfall. They, they they wanted me to die. Nigga, you wanted yourself to die. You was being ungodly, all right. Don't blame nobody else for how for them wanting you to die when you was doing the things worthy to die. All right, really, they 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 was right for that. This uh, First Kings chapter two, verse two uh, is it uh, two or one? Yeah, two and two. This First Kings chapter two, verse two. I go the way. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Yeah, show yourself a man, man. All right, that's what the man of the Lord is supposed to do, man. We're supposed to show ourselves, man. We ain't supposed to be feeling, you know, uh, no type of uh, emotions in our, our heart because these people are uh, dying out here or judgment going forth. All right, man, be a damn man. Hey, shit, you, 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 what's, what's being a man following the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah? We meditate terror, man. All right, we are man of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. We, we, we are man of the world like him. We coming in the same state as our power, man. All right, we ain't worried about how these people feel out here, man. You know, we ain't, we ain't worried about how we feel towards these people out here. We're, we're being men, all right? Men, and you are, you're not a man until you are a servant of Yahweh Hashim Shah, man, you know? And a servant of Yahweh Hashim Shah wants judgment to go forth. Let's get this in Deuteronomy 10 and 17. I got two more. This first Deuteronomy, uh, select it first. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17. For the Lord, your power is power of of powers and lord of lords in it's like a great power a mighty and a terrible which regardeth not persons nor take of reward so yeah how about she my ain't regarding nobody now here man if your ass ain't in, in, in a part of his remnant if you ain't serving you how about she my he don't he not regarding you man let's get that word regard regard <laughs> 
the word is the sa. Strong's H fifty three seventy five. Nasa. Mm. Nasa. It says to lift, bear up, carry, take. To lift, lift up, to bear, carry, support, sustain. Ooh. Endure, to take, to take away, carry off, forgive. Wow. To be lifted up, be exalted, to lift oneself up, to be born, be carried. To desire, uh, so like it, to lift up, exalt, support, aid, assist. To desire, long, carry, bear, continuously, to take. Take away, to lift oneself up, exalt oneself, to cause one to bear. To cause, to bring, to have brought. Yeah, so how about Shimei Oshai is not, uh, you know, lifting up, exalting, supporting, aiding, or assisting, or bearing uh, anyone, uh, you know, for any kind of uh, personal reasons or, you know, uh, um, emotional attachment, so to speak, man. All right? Like, you know, these people on earth expect you to do just, oh, there's, there's just a baby or those people, they weren't doing that wrong. They didn't deserve that, you know? Man, y'all about see myself not rocking like that. He's not going off of, you know, he, he's not regarding no person. You know, like just regarding somebody just to regard them, man. All right, who the hell are you? Why is earth and ashes proud? You know, it says, for the Lord, your power is a power of power, powers, the Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons nor take reward. Yeah, and ain't no reward for y'all about see outside. All right. These people in the world, man, they'll take a uh, reward, you know, to, to uh, you know, not look at somebody in a certain type of light, man. Or, you know, to downplay how they feel about something, you know. Yahabashi Melsha and the man, the true man of Yahabashi Melsha, they not doing that. All right. It says, he doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and the widow and love of the stranger he giveth him. Food and raiment. Yeah, so that's the point. You how about she my shot is executive judgment, man. Alright, that's that's what we want. We want judgment to go forth, man. Alright. Why? Because that's the will of you how about she my shot. Now this is it right here. I'm gonna end it right here. This is Jeremiah chapter three, verse fifteen. This is Jeremiah chapter three, verse fifteen. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So you how about she has given these people pastors. Which are the man of the Lord, the, the prophecy of Habashim al He's giving them according to his heart, according to his mind. So the men that's uh, serving Habashim al and Faith Sincere, they were set up by Habashim al you know? So if you got a problem with how, how, you know, we act or how we think or, you know, how we feel, take it up with Habashim al Why? Because he's Habashim al set us up, you know? And we feeding you with knowledge and understanding. First Corinthians, the fifth chapter, man. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right, so that's it, man. You know, I pray, I pray through spirit and poverty. How about Shem Yashai? That's edifying. We want to give our praises to Yahweh, by Shem, God was shy, by Shem, Rokal, Kadash, double honors to the apostle and elders, a great millstone who well and taught me his truth, and peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man, preaching his truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom to the elect.